It takes a village to raise a child and nothing is wrong with seeking advice from friends and family about how to be more prepared and efficient. Joining us today with tips and tricks is parenting lifestyle consultant Michelle Gordon. Michelle is a parenting and child lifestyle consultant, editor-in-chief of B3 Parenting Magazine and Indulge Magazine. She has a passion for parenting and is a strong believer that if we fix our families, we can fix our nation. Michelle took on the challenge of helping parents to strike a balance between fun and fabulosity. She focuses on helping to shape the next generation. With your best interest at heart, I'm your host Talia and this is JMMB Living. Michelle, talk to us a little bit about the importance of a village raising a child. Because sometimes many persons say, oh, you know, I'm the only one who is allowed to scold you or to correct you, being that I'm the parent. How important is it to say, have your grandma's input, your grandfather's input, maybe an aunt or someone who, who, who's just giving an extra eye? How important is that? You know, um, that can't be understated. The village still raises a child, especially in the Caribbean here for us. We have so many people who form part of that village from, as you said, grandparents, you have co-workers, you have cousins, friends, aunts. And guess what? You see, if we don't have that, we'll physically not be able to manage. Okay. It's a lot more demanding today. A lot of us mothers, fathers, we have multiple jobs. There's a rise in single parenting. Right. If we try to do that on our own, it's definitely not Impossible. going to work out. So, I mean, the village can come into play in something as simple as you want to go out on a Friday night, you kind of just beg your girlfriend, can you keep Toby or Joe, whatever the kids' names are, can you keep them tonight? Or you can't do homework with this child. There's so many ways to call on that village. A lot of us, we still benefit in Jamaica from the ability to have housekeepers and people who can take some of the burden off of us. So even if it's a case where you're not having someone do those things for you, meaning the one-on-one -on -one with your child, have someone possibly, you know, that person comes to take care of the cooking or the laundry, whatever it is, right. so that that balance is easier to accomplish. Okay. But the village is, is it's the most necessary thing. What advice would you give to parents to kind of cut costs a little bit, to save a little money, mm -hmm. and still provide your children with everything that they need? I think the most important thing there is that we have to recognize that there's a difference between needs and wants. So we have to, as parents, not fall victim to giving our kids everything that they want. You understand? We have to be able to, and that's a conversation with a child, explaining to them that, look, this isn't going to happen, this is not within our budget. And there's right. certain things that you can teach your children at home, to you know, save for. saving is important. Right. You know, if you give them lunch money, whatever it is, allow your kids to understand what obligations are and help them to be a part of the process. You know, even if it's a supermarket list that you're going to be creating, what do we need this week and what, what are the things that we want. And that you can take it going into the new school year as well. Oh, absolutely. Saving as you go along. So once the school fee is paid, start again. Start saving right away. Do start not wait. Start preparing for the following year. You have year. to, because if you wait until that bulk that lump sum is required. When the book list comes. Yeah, man, that's a problem. <laughs> so start to save and help your kids to understand. Growing up, we weren't privy to what school fees were or what, what expenses were, but I do it very differently with my children. They, you know, we sit down, we said, these are the things that, this is what it's gonna cost. And I let them know, they don't need to know how much I earn, but they have to understand that there's a sacrifice that goes into certain things. So Teaching they understand, them yeah, man, the they have to understand. The importance of a dollar. Yeah, they have to know, because guess what? We're not being fair to them. If we let them think that I go outside and I just pick it off a tree and you get it, that, that's not reality for them, you know? And it's not fair to them because they're going to start, to start expecting that anything they want is just going to come. Right. And trust me, they want some very expensive things. Some very expensive things. Yeah, because things. the media exposes them to all sorts of um, unrealistic goals. And gadgets. Yeah. Can you leave the parents with some advice? At each stage of the child's life, from the bump to the baby, to be armed. You know, if I were to leave one pearl of wisdom with any parent, regardless of what stage they're at, it would really be to find that village. You create your own village and choose people who are going to be a part of your village, who are going to help to build it up and not break it down. So whether it's the, the friends that you're going to choose to be a part of your life, you have to choose friends who have common goals and who are going to understand um, when you call them that it's not just frivolous and they're going to have a vested interest in seeing you succeed, in seeing your children succeed. So when you're pregnant, you know, you're choosing who your village is, you choose, just the same way you're going to be choosing your girlfriends or the people who you're, you're friends with in your general. Circle, right. Choose the people who, are who your children are going to look up to and call auntie and uncle. Make sure you're choosing role models for your kids who you are proud of and your children 
can genuinely look up to them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can look up to them and, and, and emulate and something them. Yeah, from them. Absolutely. Michelle, thank you so much for joining us here on JMMB Living. It was a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you I so got much. a lot of insight. I don't have any children yet. <laughs> no, but you form a part of someone's village, so that's yes, also I'll, important. I will, I will form a part of someone's village, but thank you so much for sharing with us the importance of having a village and having that foundation and just being a friend to your children, saving, right, preparing for the next school year. You shared a lot of information. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. That's it from us here on JMMB Living. I'm your host, Talia. See you next time.